All communities are mindful of their regional trade performance. They care about retail sales. They care about their competitive position relative to their neighbors. This session is going to look at several measures of retail trade performance to help you understand how we measure the comparative performance of communities and counties and what those measures mean. There are a set of calculations that we're going to go through, and I'm going to leave this up for just a second, and you, all of the formulas are all there, and you can always refer back to this if you're ever going to work through this by yourself. We're going to look for, every, for a county. We're going to look at their potential sales. We're going to figure out their percentage of retained sales as a function of their potential sales. We're going to calculate something called a trade area capture, which tells us statistically how many persons they're actually serving. From that number, we get something called a poll factor. It tells us the ratio of your population that's being served. And then finally, we'll be able to estimate your area's surplus or leakage in actual sales. We begin our analysis with some data that we have to get from secondary sources. Here I'm going to compare Jasper County, Iowa with the state of Iowa. Retail trade data can be obtained in Iowa from our Department of Revenue and Finance. It comes out annually and there's also data that come out uh, quarterly as well. Um, other states will have some compilation of retail sales and if you can't get it from your state agencies, you can get every five years estimates of county level sales from the census of commerce or the census of retail that happens every five years. Population, of course, those numbers come from the U.S. Census, so those numbers are easily obtainable. And per capita income. Per capita income is obtained from the Bureau of Economic Analysis, and we can get those numbers as well. With those data in hand, the first thing we need to do is calculate our per capita retail sales, just to show the difference between Iowa and Jasper County on a relative basis. So here we go. It's going to be total retail sales in Iowa divided by the population. And the average amount of retail sales in Iowa was $11,278. Jasper County's retail sales, I'll copy this over, are much less. The first value we're going to calculate is called our potential sales. And the formula is up there, and I'll go through that in just a second. But it tells us what our regional expected sales would be given our population and, importantly, our income, because that gives us a sense of our purchasing power. The potential sales for Jasper County are going to be retail, the state level retail trade per capita times Jasper County's income, per capita income, divided by the state's per capita income. So our, our potential sales uh, are going to be adjusted for our income level. And we're going to multiply this then times Jasper County's population. We'll get rid of some decimal points. It's clearly evident that Jasper T County's potential sales, even after adjusting for the lower income, is much higher than their actual sales. 345 million are the potential sales. Their actual sales for the year were 319, almost 0.6 million. So we can calculate their percentage of sales that were retained, and that's going to be their actual sales divided by their potential sales. And Jasper County is capturing about 92.6% of the sales that it should capture were it to statistically be able to satisfy the trade needs of its population. Here's the formula for the percentage of retained sales. We just calculated that. And it tells us whether we are exporting sales or, are, or we are having sales leakages. And in this case, there is sales leakage occurring in Jasper County. The next thing that we calculate is called the trade area capture. And that's a number that measures in persons the statistical equivalent of shoppers that are being served by the county. Now we're going to calculate the trade area capture. 
This formula is a little bit complicated, but it goes like this. We're going to take the actual sales for Jasper County, and we're going to, we're going to divide that by the state sales per capita times the local per capita income divided by the state's per capita income. We're going to close this off. And that's going to give us the number of people, the, the number of shopper equivalents that the Jasper County economy is serving. The pull factor is simply the trade area capture divided by population. So we'll pull that up. We'll calculate that right now. And the pull factor divided by population. And it's 0.926. Now a pull factor of 1 means that you're statistically serving your regional population. A pull factor greater than 1 means that you're serving more than your population. You're exporting sales. A pull factor less than 1 means that you have sales leakage. And so we can calculate your surplus or your, your leakage. That's going to simply be your actual sales minus your potential sales. And we'll get rid of the decimal points. And the potential sales uh, that Jasper County could be making up, were it able to get its pull factor up to one, is $25.5 million more in retail and services activity in that county. After calculating the pull factor, we can look at the state of Iowa and find the places that have a statistically strong sales relationship relative to the neighbors. Those are the large blue dots. Those areas that are somewhat weak, but not terribly weak. Those with a pull factor of 0.5 to 1. And then we have several counties in Iowa where the pull factors are less than 5, where the county sales force is only able to statistically serve less than half of the population's retail and service demands. And so those areas that were either in the gray dots or in the red dots are places with strong leakages. Those with blue dots were the areas of the state that had strong surpluses. Now I'm going to go back to that. We can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 counties out of 99, 88, 18% of the state's counties post trade surpluses at the county level. You can get county or city retail trade reports by going to the Department of uh, Economics ICIP website. It's right here. And if you click on that website, it will open up a window that allows you to pick county level reports. You can click right on the county or you can go to city level reports and you can choose from a list of your cities. I'm going to go back quickly to the county level reports for Jasper County. I'm going to make it smaller so that we can look at it. And these reports are produced every year for every county and for every city that has reportable retail sales. 